Hello everyone, welcome to another insightful tutorial on this channel. In today's video, we shall be learning how to go about the drafting, cutting and sewing of this loose fitting top, which you can style in diverse ways like this, this, this and more. I shall be developing the design for my basic bodies pattern. Once you're able to draft your basic bodies pattern like this, you are good to go to making use of it to design any top of your choice. So we are here to know how to draft your simplified basic bodies pattern like this. The link is already in the description box below. How to draft basic bodies pattern using Lapere's simplified and professional method. And if this is your first time on joining us on this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. On this platform, we upload detailed sewing tutorials on pattern drafting. We'd like you to be part of this family. Go ahead and subscribe. And as you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified as we upload detailed sewing tutorials. And for all my subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for all those lovely comments that you do say. Thank you so much. Back to the tutorial for today. We need to transfer out our basic bodies pattern like this, which I've already done front and back. I'll be developing it into the style at hand. Modifying to the style at hand, we need another drafting paper like so. And apart from our basic bodies pattern, we just need our long sleeve length measurement. The long sleeve length measurement. So starting from the back piece, I shall be placing it on the pattern paper like so, just at one edge, securing it with pin this way. And since the design we are making is a loose fitting garment, we do not need all of these darts and waist shaping. So we can go ahead to clean it up or simply ignore all the waist shaping and the darts. So having done this now, from this region, we are going to be measuring our sleeve length, the long sleeve length this way. And it's possible for one to start from the edge at the shoulder tip this way. And it's also possible for one to actually extend this neck region straight onward like so. And I think that's what I'll do. So first and foremost, let me just extend from this neck, draw out a straight line this way like so now from this edge i'll be measuring my long sleeve length from this point here long sleeve length i'm working with is 23 so i'll measure my 23 this way mark the point and because of the design we are working i actually want it to fall there should be excess so i'll be extending this by two inches extra so that is that for this region for now now this is my back length this way to get the effect the extra effect even though we are going to be attaching an elastic here i will also extend the back length by two inches this way to have the effect the excess the fullness at the waistline like so and I'll simply square across the pattern this way, just straight line, just like we did the shoulder line, like so. So having done this, I'll be using the waist measurement that I have here to mark, to create a point and mark the point this way. So the next thing we need to do now is to determine the fullness that we want around this waistline. So from this point mark, you could actually measure outwards about 10 inches extra like so or more then you'll be linking from this point now back to this region that's one way to go about the design like so this way and if you do not want to reduce the fullness you could actually use the entire width just simply squaring down from this shoulder line this way to simply square downwards like so and this is what I want to do I'll be making use of the whole length 
So that means we are going to be disposing everything that we have around this waistline and controlling it with the elastic band. So with this, we are simply done with the band pattern. All I will do will now be to cut out the pattern like so. So this is what we have as the final pattern for the back piece. Like so, here's the shoulder line and here's the waist line. Now for the front piece, we'll be placing on another paper just like we did the back piece. And the waist that and the side that side shaping will be disregarded. Likewise, the side that will also be disregarded. This particular design is a loose fitting without any side set. So do not worry about the front length longer than the back length. So we simply disregard all the darts and the waist shaping. And just like we did the back from the neck point, like so, we'll be squaring across a straight line. And from the shoulder tip, this way, we'll simply measure our long sleeve length, just like we did that of the back. 23 inches is what we are working with, plus extra 2 inches to make 25. Then for the length of the top now, we'll simply be extending this front piece by 2 inches as well. And this will also square across the pattern paper straight on like so and afterwards we'll link it up with the measurement that we have here squaring it downwards this way So this is our front pattern. Here is the basic neckline for the front. So depending on the neck depth and neck style line, we we'll go ahead to draw the neck style line. But for this particular design, I actually want it lapping, overlapping at the front. That means I need to extend the center piece by some inches. So what I will do will be to extend by the width of my nipple to nipple, half of my nipple. So I just measure from my center front this way. So I can extend by 3.5 or highest 4 inches. So I'll extend before drawing my next style line. So let me quickly do that. So here is my center front extension like so. So what I'll do will be to go ahead and extend this waistline to the extension. Having done that, I'll come back to my neckline and determine how low I want it, the intersection of the neckline this way. Or let me just simply connect straight on like this. The neckline of the garment will be low, so one can still wear camisole, and if you can rock it like that, you are good to go with it. So this is what we'll be having. So all I'll simply do will be to cut it out now. Like so. Then I can now go ahead now to cut out the whole outline of my front pattern just like we did the back. So here is the final outcome of the front pattern, like so. So the next thing now is to attach my back piece that we have drafted with the front piece at the shoulder line, so that we are able to cut it at just one piece, no seam at the shoulder line. So I'll be using my paper tape to secure the two together like so, and afterwards we'll be placing on fabric. So having attached, to place on fabric, here are the fabrics that we make use of this white cotton fabric and my African print, this way. So one side will be this plain fabric, while the other side will be African print. And for the waistband, here is what I'll be making use of. So here we are, our pattern has been placed on fabric. And it has been cut out. 
to have my African prints and the plain cutting like so. So all we need to do now is to start sewing and to sew the first place that we'll be sewing will be this center by joining the two pieces together and I'll go ahead to pipe the neckline. So here we are, the neckline has already been finished up with the bias taping like so. So the next thing we'll do will be to lap it over the other piece. This side lapping over, following the notchings this way. And afterwards we'll be running our loose stitches throughout the whole width like so. And be controlling it with the band. So for the other side, the sleeve parts have also been finished up with the bias taping like so. So let's quickly go ahead now to run the loose stitches both at the front and at the back. I'll be controlling with the band. So here we are. The band has already been attached. So this is what we have on the waistline. So we simply go over to the overlocking machine now to finish up this end and with that we are done with the making of our loose fitting top like so and on the wrong side right side rather this is what you simply be having this way So that's how to go about this particular design. It's also possible, depending on the type of fabric you are using. You Notice know, it's cutting fabric with African prints, which will not drape as much as having something like this chiffon, silk, you know, that will really drape. So it's possible for you to modify your pattern such that if you are using chiffon or something drapey, you could extend. You know we extended this by 2 inches, you can actually extend your bodies now by as much as instead of to 4 inches or up to 6 inches so that you can get more fullness and then you'll be having it coming out like this particular design. So as you extend your front bodies, you also extend the back bodies using the same length. And that's how you get that kind of effect. But this is cutting, which will not really drip. Do not fall over this band like this other one with chevron. So we come to the end of our tutorial for today. Kindly give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video for others to join us also on this platform. And if you're interested in our paid class, you could actually contact the WhatsApp number on the screen. On to my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. La Perry College of Fashion. Raising professionals.